Paul here sharing my tour divide setup and my home on wheels for the next 24 to 32 days. If you're just tuning in, I'm going to be participating uh, on the tour divide race. It's going to be 2400 miles from the U.S. border with Canada to the U.S. border with Mexico. Uh, it travels through the Rocky Mountains along the Continental Divide and follows mostly dirt roads and single track them the, the whole way. So this build represents um, my balance between uh, speed and efficiency and comfort and sustainability. I'm riding a specialized Epic Hardtail mountain bike that's been converted to drop bars. These are Envy Gravel 48 millimeter handlebars and I've got specialized aero bars mounted on top of those. The bike is built with SRAM Axis ETAP and it has 29 inch wheels with ground control tires and the wheels are carbon Roval Traverse wheels. The front wheel is built with a Sun Dyno hub, which will fuel power to my Synwave light and also charge my spare battery pack. I've got a Brooks C17 saddle and Brooks microfiber bar tape. The gear ratio I'm running is a 11 by 50 cassette in the back and a 34 tooth chain ring in the front. And I've got SPD pedals on here. Um, the front handlebar system, harness system, is an older system by Porcelain Rocket. I actually used this system on the TAT six years ago, but it's still going strong. It's an awesome system. I've got a frame, custom frame bag by Rogue Panda. This is an elastic zip here. I really like that because you can really stuff the bag. I've got a gear jammer bag by Oveja Negra. Um, and then these um, cockpit bags, I've got a mag tank by Revelate Designs and a jerry can by Revelate Designs. And these feed bags right here, I have is a eco pack by Swift Industries and another snack hole by Oveja Negra. Um, down below, uh, I've got a clean canteen strapped to a mini cage, which is attached to my bike with universal mounts by King Cage, which is also a Durango company. Okay, let's dive in and see what's inside my bags. Okay, inside this front bag, I am keeping my cook setup and my back stock of all my like coffee and protein powder. Inside here, I've got protein powder. I've got um, Lion's Mane Latte Mix, which is what I'm going to be drinking as my coffee supplement. And I've got uh, Ultima Electrolytes. Um, and I'm just carrying enough for about the first week or so. I also have a handkerchief, which is kind of like my tablecloth um, when I'm eating. And I've got an open old knife, a spork, and a can opener. Because I eat a lot of beans. Refried beans is what I like to eat on the road. Um, so that's what I'll be that's my cook system. I'm not going to carry a stove. I'm just going to be carrying um, those things and eating cold food as much as possible and eating hot food when I'm in town. Um, inside my feed bags, I've got a 26 ounce water bottle. And inside this one, I have a 15,000 milliamp battery pack and I've got a bug head net to keep the mosquitoes off of my face. This has saved me many times on the road. It's something that doesn't take up much space but really prevents um, you know bugs and uh, bug irritation. I've got inside here, I've got my kind of chargeable things. I've got a wall port. I've got various different kinds of cables. I've got a, um, a charger for my, my ETAP battery. Um, I've got a SD card adapter, a spare battery for my ETAP, and that's about it. Inside my mag tank, I'll be carrying my camera, my light point and shoot, and my headphones. Also carry my cell phone in here and a bunch of snacks. 
Inside my jerry can, I carry my sun chapstick, my uh, sunscreen. I've got a headlight in here. I've got chain lube and a little rag. I've got bug spray, Oops, which I think I might use some now. And I've got my multi-tool. In the side pack of my frame bag, I've got a few things. I've got my wallet. I've got some baby wipes. I've got a clear pair of Umbra's glasses for night riding and also to keep the bugs out of my eyes. Inside my frame bag, I've got some bear spray. And a three liter Katahdin gravity filter. This will also serve as uh, extra water storage if I need it. And I've got my tool kit, my backup tool kit, which has a tire lever, a spare strap, um, some super glue, a, um, a dyno plug, uh, patches, spare bolts, spare brake pads, spare derailleur hangers, zip ties. The way I pack my bike is I pack my shelter and things I don't need to get to in this front stuff sack. Um, so my sleeping bags in here, my uh, shelter, my bivy, um, and uh, yeah, and my sleeping pad is in here. In my gear jammer bag, I put things that I need to have somewhat accessible. This is a Dyneema bag that is um, pretty burly. I actually used this on the TAT um, six years ago. Um, and it's still still going strong. I'm really happy with it. Um, this is my bivy. It's an M, a Mountain Laurel design. I think it's an FKT bivy. Um, it's a combination of Gore-Tex material and Dyneema Kuban fiber. Um, it's really breathable. But I've been using this bivy exclusively for the past um, eight months and I really love it. It's really simple and easy to use. Um, next I've got uh, these are mountain western mirroring, what, uh, western mountaineering um, down booties. Um, they're packed inside the other one, packed inside the other one. And these are um, going to serve as like, um, to keep my feet warm because my feet are the, the one thing in my body that goes cold the, the quickest and keeps me up at night if, uh, if it's a cold night. I've got a uh, 30, uh, 32 degree sleeping bag that I'm carrying. And so those booties will help keep my feet warm on those cold nights that it is 32 degrees or, or less than 32 degrees. And this is my Western Mountain sleeping bag. And this is my sleeping pad. It's a climate ozone pad. Um, and I also use it because this pad does um, it's a minimal pad that I've used for many years um, it's got a pillow built inside of it but it also has these holes um, as well which it makes it minimal but also makes the loft of the sleeping bag work but because of the holes um, I do put this Thermaris pad um, beneath my hip just to offer some insulation and also um, padding, extra padding. I've got Thermaris pad. I've got my rain jacket, a Rocco rain jacket, Vortex rain jacket. I've got a Merino long sleeve shirt. Got a Rafa down puppy jacket. I've got a wool hat. I've got my dop kit, which has some band aids, some Benadryl, some Aqua tabs, ibuprofen, toothpaste, toothbrush, inhaler, uh, tea tree oil, fingernail clippers, tweezers, uh, floss. Uh, Bronners and an extra hair tie. I've got some Showers Pass Merino but waterproof gloves. 
Um, you better do keep my hands dry and warm. I've got merino leggings for night and also riding when it's cold. I've got some thicker merino wool socks. And I've got a spare pair of cycling shorts. So um, I'll be wearing um, this for most of the time. I'm wearing merino bra, merino briefs underneath here. And um, this is what I normally wear while riding, but I also have never ridden 100 miles a day for 24 days before. So I'm bringing the extra pair of cycling shorts just as um, backup in case I need them. And if I don't need them, I'm going to ship them home. Lastly, I've got some rain pants and my spare tube. Okay, I think that wraps up the, the gear breakdown video. I've got a list um, that I'm going to put in my blog that you can check out um, more details about what I've got packed. And uh, I hope it was helpful if you're ever looking to do something like this or something similar. Uh, I hope that this helps. Cool. I'll see you out there.